Welcome to Workflow 3, Documenting a Patient Visit. In this workflow, we will review how to create a consult note and add a diagnosis, how to create new prescriptions, as well as creating labs and imaging requisitions, and how to create a referral letter and doctor's note. In this demonstration, we will review how to create a consult note and add a diagnosis. To um, create a consult note from uh the very beginning and the new encounter. So you click on new encounter some patient. This will open up subject, object assessment and plan. And uh, if you want to send a console note, you can click on the left hand side a letter. These are custom made letters individual doctor can make or you can choose the custom letterhead. Select. And you would see the date on the top and patient information here. And also you can type a little note in here. And your name will be at the bottom here. So that's how you create a consult note. And when you're finished, press the save icon to save your consult note. So to add a diagnosis to the same encounter, like for example, for today's, so you can, you would know the diagnosis or you can type the wording right in, the, in here and also click add, that would add it to your um, diagnosis. So you can click, you can see that date automatically populated, your name will be there and you just press okay. It'll ask you again, do you wanna add it to the problem list? So yes and also appears on the side here. This demonstration will review how to create prescriptions as well as lab and imaging requisition. From the, new, the encounter, you also wanted to know how to create a prescription. So you click on script. Then you click on this icon to add a new script and you can type the name of the medication. You can select the amount you want. And also you can uh, click on here. You can see this is gray out until you actually fill out the proper information. You cannot press OK. Um, so you can select uh, once times a day. Um, the rest you can fill out how you want to pack and everything. So press OK. And OK. It will add it to your print order prescription. So you can hit the print button, hand out to a patient, and also notice on to the right hand side is also add a prescription into the same encounter. To print a prescription, you can click mm -hmm. on the print button here, then you can sign and press OK to if you want to e-fax it or you can print a copy for a patient, you can follow the prompts. To create a lab work for a patient, um, you click pathology on the left hand side here. Most of the wordings um, will be on the left hand side here under preferred. You can pick if you know which um, blood work the patient's needing. Um, or you can go here, find. If I wanted to know A1C, I can type it and add that on to the blood work. And you can print. And also you can send um, and faxing from directly from the EMR. So if I hit print, um, I can print a copy or I can e-fax it directly. And also the radiology, just right underneath pathology. So you can click radiology. Um, because different hospitals has a different requisition, so profile has um, all these requisitions been added to the system. So you can select um, the rec you want to send the person for. Um, you can go scroll down if you want to click, say, medical imaging. You select that, then press order forms. And you can select 
uh, select the location if you want to send patient to Lionsgate up here. Um, if they're having a CT scan, select CT, exam required, say head, then you can fill out the history um, there and save and print. This also you can print hard copy or through internet faxing from the EMR. In this case, we're just going to save a copy, not print. In this demonstration, we will review how to create a referral or doctor's note. To create a referral, um, in the same window here, you can see right underneath the radiology, you can see a referral form. Um, you can pick a new referral form. And this option will give you to um, open up the narrative of the referrals. And it will fill up your information here, say from, will be your name. Then the external provider, you can pick the doctor if you know the name. You can enter here, or if you're not sure, then Dr. Smith, there's a bunch of them come up. If you're not sure about the doctor, you can have a, a code from the clinic. Each clinic would have their own code created, so you can um, talk to the MOI about that um, when you start into the new clinic, especially for the locums, when you don't know there are different specialists in the area, uh, depend where you're at, and uh, there's always visiting specialists come to locally, so if you're not sure what, what doctor you want to choose, that referral send it to, you can uh, put a C tracking, for, for example, and then also you can interrupt through the MOA, please send this referral to um, gastro. So um, they would read this interruption, it will go to the MOA. Um, they do recommend to fill out the diagnosis code. And that you can save and close, that will go into to the MOA group at the front and they will make sure um, the referral go to the proper doctor. Also, they can attach um, blood work, CT scan, anything on um, whatever needed to be for the specialist. But you can also do that for the MOA too if you want to. You can click select attach and this will give you the option to attach the information. You can select radiology. Just make sure you don't want to select all. That's attaches everything. So you open them up and select the individual test results. And it will only test that current um, lab work. Then save. And you can actually see your referral letter on the side. Um, if you proactive, you know which doctor is sending the referral to you. When you've done this, you can actually select fax internet faxing and hit print, this will give you the option to send it to that doctor. So in this case, I'm not gonna send, but this option will come up. So you sure you wanna send this referral to this doctor. To um, do a sick note, you can select on a letter head here, letter, sorry. Then you can go from here, you just type a sick and take a sick note, you double click on that to open up. This will come up um, custom made already, but if you don't want to have this wording in here, you can actually delete and add your own words. Um, the heading, you can change that to however you want it. Um, the date and the patient's name, the information, then you can add your note in here. This now concludes workflow three. Thanks for watching.